This week's video is another gig diary. These are the videos where I try and give you a little flavour of what it's like to be a professional musician working in the UK, along with the odd bit of technical nerdery. So it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks. There's been some uh, bank holidays in the UK, so I'm pretty worn out actually, and I've got a gig which I've got to leave for in a couple of hours. So without further ado, this first gig was from a couple of weeks ago. It was a venue that I've never played at before, and I'm playing with Christabel. We're a duo, we work together quite a lot. On this little snippet, we're playing the Jackson 5 song, Shake Your Body. I think it was Jackson 5 anyway. Um, and I loop up the backing track. Now, if you've not seen my videos on how I use the looper, it's on the Quad Cortex. Since they brought a looper out on it, I use just the one unit all on by itself. And I've done some videos on that, so I'll link to that here. And I quite like this track because we do quite a good vocal arrangement. I do a silly high vocal and a sound effect on this. So I thought this might be quite fun to show you. So here we go. Check this one out. Okay, and then we'll do another sing along. Now this next clip, a couple of videos back, I showed a bit of footage with my dad getting up and singing with me and I didn't have a very good bit of footage because he wasn't anywhere near the camera. He walked off and I didn't manage to capture him on my little camera that I put on the microphone. So this one I said to him, Oi, come and stand here so I can see you, which he did. So I got a little bit more of the footage. So here's a slightly better bit of footage of him singing and hopefully in the next few weeks I'm going to do a video with him and we do a bit of playing together and I've got some interesting questions to ask him about some little teaser here, someone very famous that he played with before they were famous. Anyway, here we go, this song is Autumn Leaves. This next clip is from another regular gig. I've posted quite a few clips from this venue and I've just realised this is another Michael Jackson song, well, Jackson 5. This is I Want You Back. Now, I did a country version of this song. And actually, if you want to see the full version, I did quite a nifty video of this with some camera trickery and four of me and Elvis outfits and Elvis glasses and playing a frying pan and a tennis racket. So if you want to see that video, it's here. And for some reason, this song, it's on Spotify as well. It seemed to get about 500 hits or this one and the instrumental version got about a thousand hits in one day from someone in Norway watching it over and over. So they must have liked it. Anyway, go and check that one out if you like it. And this one is I Want You Back.
This next clip is me finally playing an electric guitar with a band. This is a band I've recently joined. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's a very busy function band in the UK. And if you look, I'm playing my James Tyler Studio Elite Strat. Um, it's in Arctic Mint Schmear, and it's also one of the hollow ones, so it's very light. Now in this, I'm playing through my standard pedal board, and I'm playing through a Fender Blues Deluxe, a hot rod one. Um, and I've finally managed to put my new pedal, which I covered on one of the last videos, my Steel String Supreme by Vertex FX. I've finally got it on my board, so I shall show you that. Here's my pedal board in its gig case, and it's whenever I look at it in the daylight, I realise how filthy it is, because it just comes out on gigs in the dark normally. Um, so I've added the Vertex FX Steel String Supreme to the board. So that's the last thing in line now, because that seems to work quite well. Um, so I plug it into the EP booster, the exotic EP booster, which then goes into the full tone Clyde Deluxe Wire, the um, Keeley Modified Blues Driver, the Keeley Compressor, Keeley Modified Tube Screamer, and then I think it goes into the T-Rex um, Viper, which is got a kind of Leslie thing on it and a phaser type thing um, and that comes out of there and I believe it goes into the volume pedal the signal splits off on the volume pedal to the tuner out um, and the other the main signal goes out of the volume pedal into the delay pedal so that means I can send swell effects into the delay and then this is what I've added now I need to get one of these nice George L's proper uh, little patch cables this is a proper pa George L's patch cable but it's got the straight plugs I prefer the right angled plugs um, so that goes there because also I can't fit it in the bag so basically I come out of there into that input and then I send so I come out of there into the input with this lead which I shall replace and then out of the output to the amp anyway here we go this is a little bit just a bit of funk on the Bruno Mars song so check this one out To another acoustic gig this is a solo gig and i was playing in someone's garden i thought this was a quite a nice one just to show the sun does shine on the south coast of england playing for a 50th birthday and here's a bit of the police so check this one out <laughs> Now this next one's not a gig, but this is something I've done this week. Now this is just a little teaser of a video I've got coming up. I actually went and filmed a YouTube video on location at a music shop locally. So here's just a little snippet of me playing one of their very nice instruments. They let me have a go on. Another gig, this is another regular gig. I posted one of these on the last gig diary. This is from a pub in Brighton on the south coast of England. This is a gig we did regularly before lockdown and it stopped in March 2020, but we started it again two weeks ago and this is the second gig we've done. This time in for the eagle eyed among you, the person playing drums, Johnny, in this clip, was playing keyboards last week. Now, he can play any instrument. I've done gigs with him, well, apart from guitar, because I play the guitar, but I've done gigs with him on bass, keyboards and drums and he's 
very good at all of them. He's extremely talented. Anyway, this is the solo from All Right Now. I wanted to post this one. I fairly recently got this guitar, which has of course got the shorter scale length than a Fender. And I've been playing the solo from All Right Now for years and years, and I really like the vibrato. In fact, I did a whole video on Paul Gossel's vibrato, which I'll link to here. Um, but as soon as I got this guitar and I was playing with the shorter scale length, I realized how he got the vibrato. It's much easier to do it and get it much more accurate on that guitar. So I thought I'd post that one. I was quite pleased with the sound I got. I haven't managed to play the 335 all that often so far, but check this one out. This is the solo from All Right Now. This one's also not a gig. This is a rehearsal for the gig I've got tonight. Now this is for an Elvis tribute. We're playing at the Open Air Theatre in Brighton again on the south coast of England. Um, we're going to be doing some more country stuff that Elvis did. Some sort of more. Ex uh, we're going to be doing some of the country stuff that Elvis did. Some of the more obscure tunes for the first set. Then we'll do a sort of classic Vegas set for the second set. But we had a bit of a rehearsal this week, so here's just a very short clip of us playing a tune and the guitar I'm playing if it interested is a James Tyler Mongoose and I'm playing through that Black Star amp that's behind me so it does sound a bit different to the amps I'm used to playing through it's with my normal pedal board that I showed you earlier in the video. So this is a very nice rehearsal room called the Hive Rooms which is near Gatwick uh, just south of London so check them out if you want a really nice rehearsal rooms. So there we go I've got a gig I've got to get ready for shortly that this rehearsal was from so I'm gonna to have to get ready so please hit subscribe please hit like and I shall see you on the next video <laughs>